rather than only concentrating on women and the barriers that women face in their careers, um, Athena now addresses or tries to address gender inequality in a broader sense. So the aim now is really to create a better work environment, a more equal work environment for everyone in the workplace, uh, regardless of your gender. So I've been at Imperial before we had a kind of Athena programme, before uh, Imperial and the NHLI participated in Athena. Um, and I think things have changed in that um, we are more accepting of, of people with families. Um, I think that particularly that NHLI recognises that life's complex um, and everything has to fit in and just because um, people, not just women, but people have families, uh, then that doesn't, doesn't detract from their success as a scientist. Athena is interested in trying to make you know, work, work lifestyle uh, better for all staff in NHLI through introducing the various initiatives. So for anybody with you know caring responsibilities or families or or who commute or sort of any kind of issues that might make you know work life difficult, you know Athena is interested in, in trying to sort of uh, look at those issues and try and make those better. Uh, in the first 16 months of my post. Uh, I actually commuted uh, from Belfast to London on a weekly basis, so I would fly out on a Monday morning and fly back to Belfast on a Friday, uh, and they were very good at allowing me to come into work late, uh, late morning on a Monday and fly out early afternoon on a Friday and then make up the hours uh, by working later on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So that was great because it meant I got a full weekend uh, with my family and was able to then work uh, flexible hours when I arrived here. Uh, now my family are actually out here with me, uh, so I have more regular hours, but even within that um, they're very supportive in terms of allowing me uh, to come into work slightly later due to childcare arrangements and things like that. The flexible working that Imperial um, and the NHLI support um, is, has been crucial, I think. And, um, and recognition that actually, you know, even if I'm not here, then I'm still contactable and I'm still working. And um, so activities such as bring your children to work day really help with that because we recognise that, um, that, that the staff within all strata of the NHLI um, play a part in, in the scientific success of the NHLI and lots of them have children. So the idea behind that was to try and advertise that it's okay to be a member of the NHLI and have a family and we uh, set up a series of, of, of scientific um, events that uh, people could bring their children to. They were age appropriate and we took advantage of the Reach Out Lab at Imperial so that the children could experience um, an actual lab environment and then also asked staff to um, bring their children to their own department so they could see where their parents worked. Um, and it was really good fun. We ended with a, with a party um, with everybody meeting up at the end. So I joined Imperial quite a while ago, about 16 years ago, and in that time I've taken two breaks for maternity leave. Um, so I've got two youngish children, aged six and nine. Um, and when I started I was a postdoc, and then the role has adapted and I'm now a research manager here. I've had to travel awards from the NHLI, and this is really important for me, so these were for caring responsibilities to pay for the extra childcare and this enabled me to attend conferences, further my career, meet other scientists and without that additional support then that wouldn't have been possible. I was appointed a mentor when I uh, first got here um, and initially I wasn't too sure how it would work or, or how useful it would be but actually I found it very useful at various points sort of during my time here to just have someone that I can go and talk to about um, any sort of issue I might have, work related or even sort of lifestyle related. Uh, somebody who's not directly my manager or directly in my department, um, but somebody who understands this type of job. And on the other side, um, I um, underwent training uh, again through the Athena Initiative to actually become a mentor. Um, and I, so I'm part of the sort of pool of mentors that um, uh, NHLI has. And so I have a couple of mentees that I've been meeting with and again helping them with 
their own sort of issues and things like that. And we also uh, have that for our students as well in NHLI. Again, that's that we feel that's a very important thing as part of their education. The senior level management are, are deeply committed to the Athena process and in particular James Sterling since he's uh, joined Imperial has always shown his enthusiasm for Athena. In fact um, at our Bring Your Children to Work Day at the party he's, we've invited him to the, to the party um, and even with his busy schedule he's, he's turned up um, twice and I think you know, that, that's really nice for you know, my colleagues at the NHLI who particularly maybe the more junior members who don't have much um, chance to meet um, senior level management um, and he's, he's always shown his enthusiasm for that.